Okay, so in this week's Health in a Hand Basket, Beth Smythe from the American Diabetes Association is in studio with us. Last week when you were here, we were talking about the 4th of July and a lot of people saying, look, I've got family members who have diabetes and I've got to keep that in mind when I'm cooking and, well, barbecuing. And you brought some amazing <laughs> things for us. What do you have? So you're right. It's barbecuing season. It's the 4th of July. Summer's kickoff picnic. So I just brought a little sampling of what you could do at a summer barbecue to not only stay healthy but keep your diabetes in check and also maybe keep your weight in check. Mm. That's good. So what I wanted to do is just quickly start off with just a little bit of an appetizer. Mm -hmm. You know, we always have fresh fruit. This time of year it's perfect. Pair it with a little bit of cheese mm. and that's a very quick and easy appetizer. Take sure. it and walk away from the table. Oh, okay. Walk away. So, yeah, it's a walk big away. deal, right? <laughs> Let's practice that. Take it, walk away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, Norma, you had mentioned to me last week that you really like barbecue sauce, mm -hmm. and so what I wanted to do today is make a homemade barbecue sauce I can't for get you. Over this, so yeah. it smells here delicious. it is. It's really it's easy. Warm too. Oh, is it? Yes. <laughs> so we here. have just a couple ingredients here. It's just a little bit of sauce, and I looked for a sauce that had low sugar because some sauces have a lot of added sugar. Tomato sauce, right? Tomato mm -hmm. sauce, and we have a little bit of curry, a little bay leaf, a little bit of hot pepper sauce, dry mustard and then just a couple other extra ingredients to make the sauce, and I'm gonna let you oh, guys try okay. it if you'd like. Sure. I just wanna hold it. It's freezing and here. I just this wanted so to good. mention that this sauce, in compared to just a commercial sauce, this sauce for two tablespoons is 24 calories. It's got only two grams of sugar, and it's got only six milligrams of sodium. Whoa. In a commercial sauce, you're gonna get about 16 grams of sugar, which mm. is about four teaspoons in two tablespoons, which is a lot of Wait, added sugar. how much again? That's a lot of 16, sugar. 16, 16 grams of sugar. I'm always amazed so at how much sugar is in two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. Mm -hmm. yes. Think about that, how much you're putting on the chicken or if, you, or if you're making something else. Yeah, oh my this gosh. is fantastic. That is so delicious. Thank you. It's kind of barbecue, kind of like a little pasta saucy kind of. It is. Of. And so we made it last night for dinner, and my husband's suggestion was, why don't we just kind of blend it up a little so it's not as chunky? So you could do it oh, either way. You could do a little good. chunky or a little blended, and this one wow. happens to be blended. That is wow. really so, good. Big and fan of that. Then just rounding off the salad, this is a southern broccoli salad and you might know about a traditional broccoli salad but this is less than half the calories because this I is know. using some light mayonnaise and some yogurt with uh -huh. just a little bit of honey and a little bit of cheese. Can we try oh, this? So, so absolutely. So I brought this for you guys to try. Oh, that's one of those summer favorites too. Is that onion in there, there also? There is. There's okay. a little that bit of great. onion in here. Okay. And here's so some chicken for you to try. Yes. Okay. Now let's try this. This is it's a broccoli slaw, right? This is a broccoli slaw. Thank you so okay. much. We're gonna have the by the way, these recipes posted. They are mm. posted on our wow. website. And I feel like oftentimes when you guys come in, I run home and run to the grocery store and make what okay, you've made because it is these. good stuff. Well, yes. it is fun, right? Seriously? And so this doesn't have to be. Thank you. This is, you know, less than 20 minutes. This Big time kid, this fan. Done. Big time fan of your barbecue sauce. Mm. So this is also on, um, yes, the website, but this is an American Diabetes Association recipe. So everything on the ADA.org or AmericanDiabetes.org mm -hmm. is there. So you can find all these summer recipes. All right, so no excuses, folks. If this weekend you're having a barbecue, you need to try these recipes. No, no excuse to get off your, di your eating plan. Absolutely especially not. Especially when you're diabetic. Lots of fiber, lots of fun. How, wow. how are we supposed to walk away to do headlines in a moment? <laughs> Did you say there was honey in this? There is a little bit of honey in this. Wow. It's, this is a really nice light dressing. And you could dress this up a little more. You could put maybe some dried fruit in here if you mm -hmm. wanted to. You know, the traditional one has some raisins, but you don't need to. You know, it's really light and fresh and easy to make portable. Beth Smythe from the, mm. with the American Diabetes Association, thank you so very mm. much. Great ideas. Mm. Great ideas. Barbecue to a whole new level. Mm. Mm -hmm.